everybody, and I want to welcome everyone to the Spirits episode of the Booze Geek. My name is Charles, and I am your host. And before I get started, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the episode, hit that like button too. Give us a big thumbs up, and I'm going to thank you all in advance. But on the Spirits episode, we are tasting and reviewing a bourbon from Owensboro Distilling, and they are located in Owensboro, Kentucky. So let's grab the bottle. So this is their... Mills and Mash. Mills and Mash. So this is a small batch bourbon. This bourbon clocks in at 45% ABV, which gives it a proof of 90. So is there going to be some heat in this bottle? Well, uh, let's uh, pop the cork and find out. Here we go. One, two, boom, boom. Here it is. Wait for it. The bottle, boom. And as I always say with spirits, we don't need much. Just a little dabble, do ya? And that should do it. And also, as I'm pouring, the mash bill in this bourbon, this is 70% corn, 21% wheat, and 9% malted barley. Hmm. So, what do we got color-wise? Well, interestingly enough, it's a little bit lighter than I thought. I mean, it's a light copper. We have some legs on the glass, but yeah, light copper. But uh, let's swirl this, or I already am swirling it, and uh, let's give it a nose. Here we go, nose number one, what do we got? Whoa, well, we have heat, baby, we have heat. We got that alcohol heat. We'll be uh, taking some very, very quick sniffs on this one, because if not, this is gonna definitely uh, dry out your nasal passages. But what do we got? Alcohol heat, we also have a little bit of peanut, some ammonia, slight grassy overtones, and one more, and a little bit of toffee. But ironically, there's no oak coming off the aromas, no oak off the nose. Um, but let's keep swirling and uh, let's give this a sippity sip. So here we go. Prost! Sip number one, baby. Alcohol heat front center. Whoo! Oh, yeah. And also, I mean, this is a medium body bourbon. It's definitely coating your whole palate. It's got some weight to it. But what do we have flavor wise? Well, we have, outside of the alcohol heat, a little bit of peanut. We have. That ammonia is coming through. Some of those grassy overtones are coming through. And... <laughs> slight, slight bit of toffee. And, I mean, just a hint. Small hint of oak is coming through as well. Um, I mean, honestly, here's the thing. It's just... Number one, that heat on the nose... And on the palate, the alcohol heat, the alcohol heat is just overshadowing everything. I mean, it's just throwing a blanket on everything. It really is. Number two, I believe this is just too young of a bourbon. It's got that ammonia coming through. It's not been rested long enough, and it's not taking out, you know, it's not taking out any of those characteristics of the oak. I mean, I'm really not even getting any oak on this, which is pretty ironic. I mean, it's probably partly because the, the, the heat is covering everything, but I mean, just it's just, it's very average. Yeah, I mean, it's not complex at all. And I don't know, I get that heat is, it is what it is. I mean, now, on a plus note, you could definitely use this in cocktails and it'd, it'd be perfect. Uh, but honestly, it's a very average bourbon. I'm honestly going to give this, I'm going to give this a 4.5 on the meter. I mean, it is what it is. It's, uh, yeah, I'm just going to stop there. And, uh, but go get a bottle and see what y'all think. But with that, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to take one more quick sip. I want to thank you all for tuning in to this episode. And as always, you can follow me at the websites, which are www.pubsyapapintin.com or the blog, which is www.pubsyapapintin.blogspot.com. And with that, I'm raising my little glass, baby. We'll see you on the next episode. Cheers, prost, and enjoy.